Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I think I finally figured it out. I want to offer some uh, closing thoughts on Hologram Hillary and why all these snowflakes cried. And I think I finally figured it out. I had an epiphany at work. So let's get started. Well, I'm going to go through some of the pictures showing these people crying and whining and stuff while we're at it. Uh, here's what the deal is. Mentally, these people are like children. Mentally, they are. Many of them are children. Because they've depended on the government for longest time to fulfill their every need. That's what they believe. The government should uh, provide for them, provide for their every need, protect them. Protecting us, yes, that is government's job. Protecting us from bad guys from the outside and the inside. And they do it. You know, they're doing a terrible job in some places like Chicago of protecting the people from the bad guys. And be that as it may, that is government's job. But th these uh, precious little snowflakes uh, expect pretty much government to do everything for them. And what I'm thinking is that's led to a mentality where they are mentally little more than children. In fact, I remember hearing uh, somebody in a Bill Clinton rally, some guy in a wheelchair, saying, we're your children, take care of us. I was stunned at the time that anybody would say anything like that. So, I think, here's what, how this relates to Hal Graham Hillary. In my opinion, this is what I came up with. You see, before, this is the first time we've ever had, in modern times, a woman running for president. Now, what's the difference here? The difference is the gender. Why gender? Well, who is it that uh, provides for a child, basically takes care of its every need, even disciplines them? It's a child's mother. That's the way it's always been and always will be. That's dictated, basically, by nature. That's just the way it is. Seeing they're arguing about it won't change anything. Well, what happens when you take away a child's mother? First of all, a child will, a child will get angry. And when child, and it starts to throw a temper tantrum. It also will cry and bawl and carry on and fuss. You get the idea. That is exactly what we saw with these precious little snowflakes, especially the ones on campus. It's not limited to them by any means, but that's exactly what we saw with these precious little snowflakes. They're crying. They're weeping. They're... <sighs> All upset, they're throwing temper tantrums, they can't believe it. I think this is crux of the whole thing. Mentally, they're children, and Hillary, drumroll, is their mother. Not in the biological sense or legal sense, but psychologically, Hologram Hillary is mother to all these, uh, snowflakes who are crying and whining and throwing temper tantrums. And so forth. That's right. 
I believe that hologram Hillary, in a psychological sense, is their mother. Or that's how they thought of her. And not all of these are uh, young kids. Here you have a uh, 50-something woman, probably, sitting there crying because hologram Hillary lost. But mentally, these people are children. And this is why I believe they were crying. In essence, we were taking their mother away from them. I'm not a psychiatrist, so I'm not making any diagnosis. Don't get me wrong, this is not a diagnosis. I have to state this right now so I don't wind up getting in trouble with the law. I'm not making any diagnosis. This is my personal opinion that psychologically Hologram Hillary was their mother. And because Hologram Hillary was their mother, they reacted the way that children would react. Crying, whining, carrying on, and yes, with anger too. You know, sometimes you can be so close to a problem that you just don't see what it is. And I think that's the case here. Uh, I think a lot of us were just too close to this problem and never really realized what hologram Hillary meant to them. Not saying that she's mentally stable either, but, uh... Oh, wow, she's very childlike, too. At least she had a reason to cry. She got her tail whipped in the election. Anyway, that's my uh, closing thoughts on Hologram Hillary. My closing thoughts, I mean, closing thoughts on the election. Hologram Hillary, will, she'll be back again and again, like a niche that you scratch, and two minutes later, it's right back again. She's a niche that'll have to be scratched again and again and again. Oh, yeah. She'll continue to cause trouble in between uh, bouts with the bottle, of course. At any rate, that's my uh, closing thoughts on Hologram Hillary and the Crying Snowflakes. These are children mentally. They uh, thought of her as their mother and not so much as an administrator, but as a mother. And when they got, when Hologram Hillary got taken away from them, they got real mad. And they're still really mad. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve of this message. Thanks for watching.